Okay, guys, um, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. You're welcome to my weekly um, the market analysis and uh, forecast. Right. Um, this week, right, um, before I would talk about what we have for the, the new week, right, let's just quickly see what we analyzed last week, right, and as you can see, right, based on the daily time frame, right, I was, now, for the four-hour time frame, this was what we have here, this was just the only pattern that we could see here, right, then we are expecting price to really come into this block and if that did not hold right we said that we might really be looking at this particular low being taken out and as you can see that low was taken out it will really be much more evident on one hour time frame now one hour time frame to cut our liquidity and that this particular three pattern then moved up although we already have a drop as you can see the first one came rejected of that zone creating an equal low with um that daily low that we've actually seen then moved up the price came back again to take it out now we're going to see what will happen afterwards right now let's see through um other other pairs too now this uh is um for our time frame i believe that this is what we looked at i was looking at this particular zone to get rejected or price taking out this eye although we are looking at a particular eye right this particular high being taken out uh, on the maybe in the weekly time frame right as you can see I, I was expecting this eye to be taken out and that was really my expectation so I was expecting a um a, a buy I mean a sell to buy right I, I mean a sell to buy but that didn't really happen until price took out this liquidity so we're going to see what will really happen in the coming week and then euro usd also we are looking at either price be rejecting there and we can say price broke through it and when it came up it gave us another liquidity grab of here and as you can see price drop off from there and um so the next spell will be euro jpy euro jpy right the price took out this liquidity and drop just like what we have actually anticipated but um, mostly the reversal happened on the wednesday Right then on card CH and card GPY, the same thing price was rallying on the Monday, then on Tuesday to cut the liquidity, and we can see the drop. Then gold, right? Gold. Um we I was actually expecting a liquidity grab here, but we can see price um price just continue to go higher from there, even though this was another zone, but this is not really this did not really give an entry. Then we have US tech, right? On US tech, this was what I was expecting a rejection of here. Price did not get there before this price drop, as you can see. This was the zone we marked in the last class if you are there, right? But price could not get there. Anyway, this could have actually given us an entry because this took our liquidity, price rejected and actually dropped off before price came to this zone and moved up. Now, if you check the daily and the weekly of this zone trade, I told you that price is definitely still up. So whatever thing we are doing, is just for itself for a short time before the buying and that's what really we saw here then on us 30 right price could not get to the zone we are actually anticipating to to trade although this gave us another setup but i was just talking about the analysis of last week all right so i'm going to clear off this chart now and just begin to to analyze what we have for this week all right so the first thing i'm going to do right we're going to talk about uh uh, indices as we've seen it over time that price has really been bearish right on the dxy and really it's still bearish anyway well I, there's no sign of any bullish move now the only bullish move we're going to see on this space or maybe a buy to sell and if there is a chance is that this price now eventually give us a buying opportunity or maybe maybe a buying trend then you should know that we have to confirm that before we we buy it so uh, based on this right actually on this particular trade this is still my ultimate zone this particular low that you're seeing here this yellow low that is still the zone i'm i'm still expecting that price will come to take out anyway now on the daily time frame as you can see it we already have a three-year pattern which can actually serve as a minor reversal pattern before price really continue that way so i will be expecting this particular uh, significant eye maybe to be broken price reject of this fvg on into this uh, sob then price continue to drop now this is the daily time frame let's see four hour now on the four hour we've already seen a significant um 
uh, three eight pattern. And the best thing for me to, to, to see on of this particular trade is I want to see price taking out this low, and that is really going to be the best. I mean, the short trade for me. And uh, let's see one hour time frame if we can surely see a sell to buy trade. And we have a three eight pattern here. Price can either reject of this block, but for me, the best trade for me is just to see price took out this low before a bullish run of that particular zone, take out this particular eye before price will come back down again. Maybe um, when market open, we can expect this particular eye to be to be broken. So this particular rejection zone will serve as our rejection zone. As you can see, this will serve as a rejection zone. Then we want price to move up right into this zone, right? Price should move up into this zone and drop, take out this slope. Then before price will come back to take out this liquidity. And really, that is what I will be expecting of this particular pair. I want this liquidity to be taken, this particular eye that I've marked here. I don't know why my marking is not really appearing. Let me wait for this to load. Um, so, um, as you can see, this particular liquidity zone, I, I really want it right to be taken out, right? Price rejecting all of this particular rejection zone and come back here. But if possible, price might also just drop maybe when the market open, right? And just drop down right before this particular stop. Zoom is really loading. I don't know what happened. Right, so, right, so this is what I'm expecting this particular liquidity zone to be taken and this particular rejection zone to be rejected. But anyway, on the 30 minutes time frame, I believe that this will really give us a clear zone, right? Price might reject, might be take out this particular zone and come back here. If price is just dropping, I want to see a three pattern of this price come back to this zone, right? And actually come back to take out this eye. Or price will just take off from here, right? Price can just take off from this particular low. I mean, this particular rejection zone and just go up until it actually take out this eye. So that is really what I'm expecting. So whatever direction price actually presents itself to me, that is what I'm really going to follow. Now, if you, let's go to 15 minutes time frame. Now in the 15 minutes time frame, as you can see this year, I want price to take out this low, this particular low here and majorly price can come back to this particular block here. Or this particular block here. Either of these two blocks is what if price will not do what I actually said earlier, right? I, I will be expecting price to pull back here and actually give me an accumulation into this particular block, right? Or this particular block. But if that will not happen immediately on a Monday, right, or Tuesday, then I really want to see that each one zone I actually spoke about. I want to see immediately price pull back, take out this eye, reject off here, come back, take out this low, and actually give us a buy that will take out this eye and in that direction or price might actually feel this but uh, this rejection zone and just come here and take out this eye before we see that bearish move because i still believe that this pair is to just bear so whatever buying opportunity we are going to see is going to be a buy to sell so this particular knowledge is what we will take into um, um dollar in i mean dollar pairs right as you can see euro usd majorly right and on the weekly time frame price is still really going up and this particular zone i still believe that it will be broken as as you can see equal eyes what do you think the retail traders will be really be doing they will have really been selling or because oh that's actually equal high so knowing fully well that there is actually still liquidity sitting up here which can really be trapped then also this particular eye can also be trapped so whatever selling we're going to see on a lower time frame which you can actually see on the four hour time frame will really be a deception as you can see though we, according to our rules, we were actually taking a trade here when this price took out this liquidity and price came back to reject on this zone. That's actually an opportunity for us to trade. But we're going to know that this got this is going to be a short-time trade. Why? Because on the weekly time frame, this has already formed an equal eye. Then on the daily time frame, as you can see, we have a perfect equal eye. So whatever trade we're going to see as a selling opportunity will, will be a short-time sell. Right, will be a short-term sell, a short-term sell or a sell to buy trade because this eye still 
still needs to be retaken and this particular 3 eats pattern still needs to be uh to to be worked out before anything can really happen maybe the rejection or perhaps just continue to go lower or this even this eye being taken out so on this note let's look at for our time frame just like i told you that we might likely expect a sell to buy now if price eventually come back to break this low as we can see, we have something like around the whole loose beans from here also. So that implies that this NOB right can really work out. Let me mark this particular zone. It can really work out. So this implies that price might give us something like this, took out this liquidity, then price come back, take out this. Now this they are equal low here, take out this particular zone and actually moved up or even price coming all the way into this rejection zone before we just see this pair just blow off and took I me mean, take out that particular trap zones that I have pointed your attention to. And another thing that you can see, right, is price just giving us a sell around this particular area. So this implies that is either price take out this eye or price just come back, reject on this zone, drop into this zone, and actually move up to take out this equal eye and drop off again. So these are the major rejection zone that we can see and how we can just follow through on this on this trade anyways let's look at the one hour time frame now on the one hour time frame we can see this is actually an equal low so this is going to really make sense to me right why is it going to make sense maybe i would just drop this into this particular um um uh, uh nob right so i want this particular friday's low to be taken and this is also when is the low and um, this is almost low of the of the no no not of the week so all these liquidity zones can also work out by price taking out this low and come back here another thing we can see is just like what i've actually pointed the attention to price can just come up reject on that rejection zone i've pointed the attention to the earlier and just drop off from there but I, I'm still very bullish on this pair. So I will just look for opportunity. If I see any selling opportunity, it's just for a short time until the trend is now fully confirmed on daily or before hour before I will continue to be bearish on this pair. Then the next would need to be USDCHF, just like what we have followed, right? It's still very much bearish, right? So we are just looking for an opportunity to buy so that we can sell at our selling zone. That is what we have here. Now on the four hour time frame, this is actually last week I that was taken out by the another weekly high right so this particular zone can serve as a rejection zone price can just move up from here and just go off from from heat you know if you know that on the weekly time frame this still um can i say this is really bullish because uh, the price has actually broken this zone and is sitting around this particular bullish block well let's see uh, i still want this particular load to be really exposed anyway but evidently price is really bearish right and on the daily time frame you can see is really coming down in in an in a compressed manner right in a compressed manner which is not truly really good for price action anyway this particular zone can really be exposed before we can see any run at all if at all it is going to be a buy so whatever thing we want to see here price can just reject off this zone or price can come back and take out this particular low before it will continue to go up and before we see any another selling pressure into the downside or uh, price just move up into the zone sell off into the downside but i am expecting this particular liquidity graph to be hope broken and if that happen i'm really really to sell and if price get to this zone before then i might not really consider this as very strong again but if price just continue maybe price just open monday tuesday and price just came back to take out this low i will be so much happy to really take a buying to sell trade of there right as you can see that and another thing that we can likely see is I, I am actually not so strong i love liquidity before i trade so that is what i'm going to really explain to you guys I guess i'm actually taking too long on this analysis all right and as you can see this was another liquidity graph of air uh, on 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 the um weekly time i mean on the four hour time frame just like what you can see here so what we may expect we have one two three we want price to pull back into this eye or at worst, right? Which is actually the best thing for me to do is actually to see a liquidity graph of this eye. So two things are involved here, right? Is either now don't forget is also a sell to buy. Because if you see uh, on the weekly time frame, we still want this particular eye to be broken, in which that can still likely happen, right? And on the daily time frame. Right, you can see it was giving us a trade pattern, and this particular eye should be broken. 
this particular high, I really want it to be broken before I can see any selling opportunity on this trade. And as you can see, it's very, it's very, very near. So that movement up that will break out this high is much more evident. But anyway, if price pull back to this rejection zone and trade is better, but for me, it's not really good for me. I want this particular liquidity zone to be broken before I will look to sell. I mean, I mean to really sell this bear. Or anyway, if price just move down, move down and maybe took out this low and reject of this, I will be willing to buy this pair. But mo most especially if price reject of this particular zone, I will be buying this pair until this particular liquidity zone is broken, then look for the pattern for me to sell. Right. So um, the next pair, right, will be, um, next pair will be Euro JPY, right? Euro JPY, so we, we go again on this you know, for the weekly time frame the weekly time frame all up 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 this pair has been up right on the daily time frame as you can see daily time frame is also up but price is really accumulating but we can't really see any accumulate i mean uh, liquidity zone of this particular zone or else we are actually looking around this particular block that price will really come back there and take out something around this equal eye that we have here as you can see Something around equal I has been sitting around that zone. So that's a liquidity grab, and price can likely reject off this and actually drop. Now, that's on the monthly time frame. On the weekly time frame, you can see price is yet to be there. On the daily time frame, price is accumulating there, which is actually the best price action I always look out for before a liquidity grab is actually confirmed. I'm just going to teach you around, I mean, something around that area. I've actually done a video one on how to spot a liquidity grab. I'm going to do another video two on how to spot liquidity grab. Now, on the four hour time frame, you can see price was also accumulating down most especially what i will be expecting or is on this block all right this block will actually be where i am going to buy right this pair so i want this particular low to be broken with actually previous low right i want it to be taken out this liquidity grab then what is happening right now i want this particular zone to also be be broken so most especially i want a rejection of this particular zone or this particular zone and price come back and take out these liquidity zones that we have here um uh, most especially i really want this particular eye to be taken and look at this black line that i've marked here is also a liquidity graph that we have marked on the monthly time frame which is actually going to draw so many um uh good buyers i mean good sellers right they really be attracted we have so many liquidity of that zone so we are expecting that zone to be broken so i want this particular low to be my buying area but anywhere if this zone is broken right i will look for the best buying opportunity for me to buy this pair up i will actually looking for buy but if price come up and take out this hype i will be willing to set this bed down right so on card jpy you can see on the monthly time frame, all time bullish also weekly is actually going higher on a daily time frame, the same thing and price is really accumulating. So the best is just for us to see this eye also taking out which is actually the current monthly act. Now on the four hour time frame, let's see what we can likely expect. Price has, is already um, accumulating down. Anyway, we can't see any impulsive move. So the best thing for me is actually to see a sell to buy. I mean, a buy to sell. So I want this low to be broken, and this really looks like an accumulation. So any either way that we now fox, I mean, first of all, happen. I mean, uh, we will not be the direction we're looking at. Either this take out this eye. This is actually an accumulation. Take out this eye. Then we're expecting a drop, or let's say price now give you something around this area. Um, let me take my right take out this low then we are expecting a buy of there until this particular eye is broken now you guys already know your entry time frame right already know how you take entries i've already taught you around that area so that is what i will be expecting on all this pair now moreover um just like what you can see here right on the one hour time frame right which is really much more all right i'll be expecting this particular area and if you are really expecting a buy, right, maybe a short time buy, you can expect this particular low uh, price to come back to this particular rejection zone and actually move up. But majorly, I will be expecting that liquidity grab before I look at any major thing. So on gold, what am I seeing on gold? What am I expecting on gold? This is also a liquidity grab for me, right? Price was also building an accumulation here. And this is also a buying opportunity for me and also sitting on 
um, on, on another block. Now, why am I buying and selling now? Is that actually a logic behind it now? I have two rules. And one rule is LPC, which is actually trend trading. And second rule is actually for a counter trading. So for me to take a trade before it actually involves. So that's why you'll be seeing me marking two or, or direction and whatever things that really play out is what I will go for. Now, gold has been bullish. As you can see, the trend has really been bullish now on the um, uh, on, on, on the on the weekly time frame price also has really been accumulating so this is not really a good pricing give us one two three they naturally reverse from there so we can likely see some kind of good movement from this pair and most especially i really want to see a buying opportunity for me to buy this pair up to this particular area or this particular um, um uh, last candle there so for the four hour time frame, all right, this is what we have. So let's see what my really app price is accumulating up. So we can likely see this liquidity gap here. Best, best option for us is just to see this eye taken. Then we can actually take a buy to sell to buy, right? Then on for US tech, right, on the weekly time frame, all time bullish and sitting on another block. And after taking out a liquidity right off here, all right, then on the daily time frame we can see something or your price was really accumulating here i'm still expecting let me see let me see if that really works out something around equal i here so i'm, I'm expecting this pair to really move up and take out that high now uh this has shown um that okay this price is about going higher then i will be expecting this particular fvg right the 50 percent of the lvg or this um particular block right which i'm just going to refine right to be tested or price take out the low which might be the case as where we are buying from actually i don't like trading without um without a liquidity so that buy is not actually good for me in my own opinion right so i'll be expecting something around this area although price took out this liquidity after for me to eat so we can see price coming to reject off this block and just drop off this particular area or price just come up or come to this area before we see the movement up of this block anyway that's what i want to see either buying here price take out this eye and sell because we have another rejection zone here but i would likely want to follow the weekly time frame because it actually looks bullish to me but let's see what price will give us on tuesday before i will now know the direction for me to trade and lastly on us 30 <laughs> As you can see on the weekly time frame, the pair is also very up. Now on the daily time frame, we can see what is happening. Price was only accumulating. And the best deal is just for us to see a liquidity grab here or of this particular area. Now let's go to four hour time frame. Now four hour time frame, right? Price to call liquidity here. So what I'm going to expect is that this particular zone, which has already been retested, I want price to take out Friday's eye, which is going to form 38 pattern for me right as you can see right we have one two right accumulate three then drop and take out this eye pull back into this zone or take it out again and actually moved up the ultimate zone is actually this area so this is actually the setup i want to see on this particular day as the case may be just for, for me to buy it up all right guys i believe you have actually learned so much from what i've actually explained to you look for your best entry pattern and actually take this trade right this trade is for everyone it's just for you to learn also and for you to grow in analyzing right so thank you guys for listening don't forget to join us on our telegram channel right you can see this the link in the description box and i've also made a tutorial right and which is actually two days or three days uh, uh classes like that in around december 2020 right how i take my trades out uh, i have actually my entry rules and the likes are already on this youtube channel so you can get them study them i know how to take entries on all the setup i've actually explained then also don't forget to follow us on instagram and make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and click on the notification notification bell so that when and anytime i upload a video you'll be the first person to be alerted so that you can study through and get better in your trading journey i hope you've learned much and for so for many people that are asking me about the mentorship right don't worry in june we're going to open another opportunity for people to enroll whereby we're going to close it till around august or so again all right so thank you if you have any question you can send me a dm on my uh on my uh on my telegram right that is where i'm actually mostly active you can send me a dm at right online trader system right online trainer 16 and let's get enrolled in you can also check the link 
of my Telegram channel in the description box. You are going to get it, and that will direct you to everything that we have been doing in our group. I hope you enjoyed this class. So I'll see you in the next session. Until then, take care of yourself and have a good trading week. God bless you. Bye-bye.